Hey everyone, welcome back to my stat component series. This is part two. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna be going over our primary stats and our secondary stats. And uh, if you don't know what primary and secondary are gonna be referring to, primary is going to be our XP, our level, strength, agility, and intelligence. Secondary is going to be everything else. So it's gonna be our attack damage, our armor, um, mana, it could be attack speed, whatever we wanna add really in the future but that's what our secondary is gonna be. But I wanted to make sure our primary is gonna be um, isolated in its own thing so it's really easy to address and change. So with that, in this video, it is a lot longer than what I wanted to, but I also really wanted to make sure I covered um, everything I possibly could with this. I did not wanna separate this into like two videos or three. Uh, so it's, it's a pretty long video, but I hope you enjoy it. I try to cover as much as I can. Um, and in the end, we do have primary stats that influence our secondary stats. Uh, later on, we're gonna go into how we can do multiple characters so that they can have different stats, so not everybody is scaling exactly the same. And then we'll also um, work on a UI. Um, I wanna make sure we set up a UI actually soon because um, the print strings are getting insane to debug, and it's just gonna be a lot easier if we have a UI set up. So nonetheless, let's get started into this. All right, so let's get into taking a look at our component. Open that up. Okay, so we got our check, max XP, min health, max health, okay. So let me see. I've been thinking about this like all week on how I want to do this. So the way that I wanna set up the primary and secondary stats are that, um, I'm basically gonna separate them into two enums. Uh, so we'll have to recreate our four functions on the left and we'll have to do the exact same thing for the secondary stats. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because right now, if we hit this dropdown list, we have like one, two, three, four, five, five. But let's say we start adding in like 10 secondary stats, this is gonna turn into a dropdown menu of like 15. And honestly, I'd rather have the important primary stuff like strength, agility, intelligence, um, XP, and level in its own um, dropdown. And then we're gonna have all the other stats as a secondary and they'll be in there. And then after we set that up, then we gotta make the functions of, okay, we've gained one agility. Now we need to gain, I don't know, 10 attack, whatever we'll do. So. We'll go ahead and we'll have the multiplier set up. We'll have, um, let's see. Yeah, so let's just get into it. We'll get to the whole part of what we want to do. Um, I don't actually have all of it fleshed out, so some of it's gonna kind of be going with the flow. So from here, uh, we're gonna need to duplicate this because we want two. And I'm gonna rename this to E for enum. Uh, and then we'll name this, oh, secondary is such a long name, secondary underscore stats. I honestly don't like the word secondary, but it's, all right. Um, maybe I could just call it attributes. Now, uh, we'll readjust that later. We'll just do primary stats. If anybody has suggestions for the two names, like feel free to let me know, because honestly, I don't like secondary just because it's far too long and I'm just not a fan. Okay, and actually I'm gonna rename this because there's no underscore from F. So we have F stats. Okay, so let's open our primary. And do do do. we need to get rid of the health because these are not gonna be primary stats, they're gonna be secondary. Strength is gonna be a primary and that will influence our health. So from here, let's just change this to strength We'll have agility, add another one, and just intelligence. Okay, we'll close that out. Let's open this one. We already have health added here, so let's just drag these up. Um, we're gonna need a few other stats. Uh, I mentioned attack, that would be agility based. Um, agility. AGI based, let's do STR based. 
And clearly this will be str. Uh, we'll do armor. No, no, I don't want that. Uh, armor, I'm not going to scale off anything. So we're going to have stats that do scale and we'll have armor where uh, we can set it for like items only. We need intelligence based. Let's go with um, something basic. Let, let's just do mana. Oh, uh, well, we need to do max mana if we're doing mana. We'll go mana. And then mana regen. Because I want to do one thing that has um, like a stat that's continuously regaining. Um, just because I know some people mention like survival stuff, though it would kind of be in reverse where it would be draining. Maybe I'll just do a video on that later. Let's just do int based copy paste paste. Okay. Strength, strength, agility. I guess we could do one more. Mm, no, no, no. I was going to do attack speed, but I don't want to actually have too many things to worry about. Because really, strength is just one. Intelligence is two. And then agility is one. Okay. So closing that, we have our secondary stats, but now we kind of need to fix our current existing functions because, well, we just moved everything. <laughs> so if we actually look at our minimum max health, it changed to whatever we renamed it. So this is where we're gonna have to change these. So I have to rename these functions uh, to represent that they are for primary stats. Um, Oh, how do I want to do this? I don't want to type primary because that's just going to be really ugly. Um, I'm going to do P check. I'm going to probably rename these all later. P. And then P. Oop, messed up on that one. Let's change these into primary. And then you can actually just drag all of that. Boom, boom, boom. OK, so we renamed those. Now we just need to copy and paste. So we did all of this previously. So I'm not going to take it completely slow just because we've already done all these four. So. Um, what's a set is still left. I put S for secondary. Um, I mean, we could do something like first now. All right. Yeah. The naming is going to bother me and we'll address that secondary later. Drag that in, drag that in, drag that in, and then put that on top. I kind of like to put them in order. Okay. Let's close out all of these opens just because I hate seeing thousand things open. Now let's go to secondary check. We're going to have to change pretty much everything that is currently existing here uh, to represent our secondary. And then with that, because we are making another set of stats, we need two variables. So we can copy paste, control D, and we'll call this and I really don't like the word secondary. It's going to bother me, and I'm saying it nonstop. <laughs> okay. Primary, secondary. We'll change this enum to the new enum that we just added. Secondary. Bam. Hit compile. Uh, because it had five elements, it's already populating some of them. Um, but I want them to be in order because I don't like how they're not in order. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Just delete it all and just re-adding. X, go mana, and mana regen. Let's give us some defaults. So as usual, health, I'm just setting to 100. We'll go 10, armor, mm, two, and keep it low. 
And then we'll do half health for mana. Regen, we'll just do like 0 0.2. Let's let that load. Okay. Primary stats, we'll just 5, 5. Um, oh, we're missing intelligence. 5. We fixed that. Now let's fix our secondary stats and then we'll go back to the primaries because we need to fix these two. Uh, all of these on the um, uh, function note, we want to change this to our secondary. And then we want to grab this. We're basically recreating all of it all over again. Let's plug that in. And that should plug. Okay. That's stat check. Now we go to add stat. We're gonna have to do the exact same thing. We're gonna have to change this to secondary. Um, add value, everything should be good. Delete, let's plug that. Okay, we're gonna have to, oop, sorry. We have to re-add, honestly, it may have just been better to start from scratch, but wait. Okay, so. Delete that, delete that. We want to do our switch again, but this time it's gonna be on secondary stats. And we'll plug all that into here. Health, we'll go into max health. So exactly the same as it was before. Select. Um, Max XP doesn't need to be here because XP doesn't exist. So we'll do that. That, that, do, 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 plugging this in. We want uh, S check. Okay, does that, does that look good? Okay, so we did add, let's go to subtract. Okay, don't need that, don't need that. That, that, or that, or that, or that. <laughs> Deleting it, it all. Secondary. And then we're gonna get this. Uh, check, wait. Oh. Doing it wrong. Uh, S check. Took me a second on what I was doing because I just deleted everything. We're going to add. Oop. And then we'll do select stat. Okay. We'll do switch on secondary. Let's plug that in. Uh, let's let's add the select again. Uh, the reason why I am deleting the other select is because the other select was considered a primary stat, so I had to re-add the brand new one. I think you could right click. No, I was like, maybe you could right click and update node, but that's not an option. Um, check minimum health, that's gonna plug into health. So that's gonna stay the same and we're just gonna plug in everything else here. And then we'll do check. Oop. Can I sh strength straighten this please? Okay. Um, that looks good. 
What am I missing? I don't know why I hit save. I'm not done yet. Um, okay, set sat. Do you have a, okay. Deleting that. We're gonna change this to secondary. We're gonna... Oh look, it counts it as secondary. What if I delete this, grab secondary, add? Does it plug in? No, yeah, see, then it starts converting like it's not working. The node says primary, but if I select, it says secondary. That's so odd. Select. Plug that in. Delete this and we'll do um what are we, what are we doing? Switch. Secondary. Select. I'm trying to get this stuff out of the way because I want to get to the most important stuff, but I don't want this video to be insanely long for everybody. Uh let's check. Plug it all in. Okay. Secondary stats, S check. Okay. So we fixed all of those. So let me close those out. And now we have to fix our check minimum health. We're just gonna replace them with, instead of P, it's gonna be the S. So we'll do S stat. I think it's just better to type S uh, check and that's the fastest. So we'll do that. And then of course, this is still gonna be health. Control D, Control D. Take this one to max health. Um, control D only works if you have a node selected already. Uh, just letting you guys know if you don't already. Uh, and then we want to change these to the S set. So S set. It's that. I wonder if... I'm trying to think of what's the fastest way to search. S stat? No, that goes to state. Um, S value. S set stat. All right. Doesn't look like any of them are as easy. It's probably because I need an actual word and not just S. Okay. Plugging this into here. And this is going to be our health. Same as the exact, exact thing as it was before. Uh, we just had to switch it to our secondary. Um, okay, and then this is where we're gonna need to change our check max XP. And right now, if I zoom out, we have this really long function and I want our level up to be different. So I want it to be its own thing. So we're gonna go into custom event. We're gonna call this level up. And then I want to take upon this. And then we're going to copy that and drag this over here. Zoom back in for you guys to see. Plug that in. Uh, also, in case you guys don't know, if you um, drag and drop, you can hold shift and do the same thing. And that's how you can select everything. Uh, just basic stuff that I'm sure you do know, but nonetheless, if you don't, there you go. Okay, so upon leveling up, we check our data table based upon what level we are. Okay, cool. And then based on that level, we're getting a certain amount of stats. So from here, we don't actually need max health anymore because we're not going to be doing that. But we, what we do need is we need strength, agility, and intelligence. So from here, let's... Um, let's go edit our stats list. So from here, we're going to need to change this to, let's drag health down. We'll name this 
Um, oh wait, this should be agility, and then the top one needs to change to strength. And then we want intelligence. Change these to floats. Now this will update our data table. So if we go into level stats, all of this is changed. Um, boom, boom, boom. Max XP is over here. I don't know why it's zoomed like this. Can I? Okay. And strength just kind of inherited this same thing. So um, let's change all these values and let's just do three. Oh man, this is gonna take a while. Can I copy a strength value? No. Um, I don't actually like this in the slightest. Ah, huh. so if we did this, you would have full control in how many stats they would gain based upon what level they're gaining. However, if you want them to have the same stat gain every time, we could just do a struct for that instead of strength, agility, intelligence. But then that's interesting. Do we want to gain? We'll adjust that later. Uh, I think I have an idea on it, but I don't want to do it in this video. Uh, let's just do this for 10. I have an idea. or multiple characters. Why did this not? Oh, I changed the wrong thing. Wait, I should have just changed everything. What am I doing? Two, four, two, four. I guess this is an intelligence character. I don't know. Two, four, two, four. Two, four, two, four, two, four, two, four. I'm going to like double this for the last level. And then at level five, let's do the same. Just for debugging, at least getting to level five and level 10. Okay. From here, we have strength, we have agility. Um, set max XP. Am I setting max XP? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, set max XP. Let's move this over. We're going to copy and paste. Oh, this is set. Delete sets. Actually, we want add. Add. Plug that in. Oh, max XP is at the top. Okay. I like this to be a little neater, so I'm taking my time on that. We're plugging that in. Let's move this down. Uh, holding all and then um, I think like whatever your select button on is, I'm left-handed. So for me, it's right click, but it could be left click. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, uh, we'll delete the current existing um, line that you see. Doo, doo, doo. Oh wait, I moved it down because I want to move the strength one down. And I like to make sure we're practicing clean blueprints because if you have spaghetti code, um, I think I'll just be disgusted. Um, okay. Strength, agility, intelligence, max XP. Okay. We're setting max XP, we're adding strength, we're adding agility, and then we want to run that again. So 
this should function exactly the way that we had before, but now we're gaining strength, agility, intelligence. Let's uh, debug that really quick. Let's make sure our functions are doing as intended. Um, let me delete this horrendous mess. Um, debug one key. Ooh, I'm zoomed in a lot. Debug two key. Okay, we're gonna grab. Oh wait, did I accidentally delete my stat? Okay, it's fine. Um, compile. We're gonna add stat XP. Should do like 200. From here, we're going to do a variety of S checks. One, two, three. Do, do a node down here. Plug all of these in. I want to print our not S checks. I wanted primaries. Oof. P check. I'm going to print the three main stats and our level. We got strength, agility, intelligence. Plug in all of that in. A variety of print. Append. We'll have level. Um, this is going to be so messy. It's fine. Level space, plug that in. Control D, control D. Plug, plug. Okay, we'll do strength. Plug that in. Agility. Plug in that intelligence. Ah, oh, let's just simplify it. Int. AGI STR. Okay, that was a lot more time to do that. Let's go into here. Press one. We have five. Ah, oh, okay. So we're not adding, it's staying as five the whole time. So P check is not updating. So let's go into here. We have primary stats listed, add stats, strength intelligence. Those functions don't exist. Wait. Okay, so I missed the step of updating all of these. So that makes a lot of sense why it's not working. Okay, check max XP should work, but strength agility intelligence should just pass on. So let's go back to subtract. I think it's going to have the same issue. Check min health does not work. Okay. Keep hitting the save button, even though I'm not done. Let's go to set. Uh, plug in int. Let's let's see if that works. Pressing one. Okay, so it's not updating. Let's, 
our graph. Oh, <laughs> man. All right. See, I'm skipping ahead. That's because I feel somewhat rushed. So I ended up trying to record this like twice. And um, one of the times Unreal just crashed on me. And the other one, um, I went like 10 minutes in and um, realized I didn't hit the record button. And feel pretty bad that I haven't released this yet. So, okay, let's do this again. Press one. There we go. So we're at eight, seven. Now we're at 11, 14, 20, 23, 26. All right, we're scaling. So health goes up and then after 10, we don't gain stats because we've already reached max level. So we're not actually adding anything because technically strength, agility, intelligence after max level are gonna be zero, um, but I never put a cap on the level and so that's why it keeps on going. Uh, I still don't really want to yet. Um, so we're gonna leave that. So as of right now, that's great. We can close this because we don't need that. Now we need to handle is we need to have our stats scale based upon uh, the updating of our strength, agility, intelligence. Okay. Let's, hmm, let me think. Let's go ahead and add some functions just like we did with um, min health and max health. Let's start creating based upon like updating strength. So we'll do update str. Uh, let's do update agility. Let's do, oh, that's the wrong button. Update int. Okay. From here, what we'll do is when we're adding health or not health, when we're adding strength, agility, intelligence, or we are setting the value, we'll want to update our current um, attack and etc. So We'll want to call these functions. And within these functions, we want to, let's grab, our primary stats. We're gonna, no, 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 no. Well, we'll put drag on the side, but we wanna do a, a P check for strength. We want to do, S check. We're going to multiply based upon. Ooh, we need multipliers. Um, okay. Let's do one more thing. <laughs> Let's go back stat check uh, or stat system, and we're going to create a new struct. So I'm actually just going to control D and we're going to call this stats multiplier. From here, let's rename with the stats that are going to scale. So if we open up secondary, uh, we want max health. We want attack. Um, now we want mana in mana region. So we'll do mana, max mana to be exact. And oop, come on. Mana region. Okay. So we have our multipliers. Let's go back into our stat. Uh, right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it as a variable. 
when we do multiple characters, uh, I'm going to be adjusting these, but we'll be able to set this value later as um, whatever multipliers. So if you end up, or no, scratch that. Multipliers are going to stay the same for every character. Um, my brain is jumping into multi-characters. Um, we'll get into that later. We'll just call this stats multiplier. We're going to look for that exact struct, which is just stats multiplier. Let's set the default values now. Health is going to scale off strength. Let's say for every one strength, we're going to give 50 health. For every one agility, let's give us, I don't know, two. And for mana, let's do half of health. And then regen, let's just do like 0 0.04. Mm, 0 0.4? Yeah, we'll do 0 0.4. Okay, and then from here, do break, and then then we can plug in that value. So um, we're going to be updating health first. So we'll plug that in. Let's see. This was going to be max health. I don't know if we even need a stat check um, for that, but let's do set um, max health. No, 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 it's set stat value. This will be max health, and then we just plug that in. So every time we update our strength, we're just going to call this and our um, strength value in this will automatically get set. So once we do things later on where we're going to do like um, if we ever get like bonus stats or something like that, we'll have to change how we do this because we if like let's say somebody gets an item, you don't want to just overwrite everything because what happens once you remove that item uh, so we'll have to also keep track of that as well that's at a later time though so we'll leave it at that updating strength we don't need any of these so we have this hide unconnected pins so just select that and then we'll only see that one so that's perfect and remember with updating max health uh, we want to update our current health if you want them to gain health um, Mm. No, never mind. I'm not doing that. Uh, if we're updating strength, I don't ever want to um, set their health to max. That'd be weird. That's like picking up an item and getting a full heal off the item. That'd be odd. Uh, we'll leave that. Okay. Let's do this. Copy and paste. Drag agility up here just because it's a little too far. And plug that in. Now instead, we'll just switch this over to agility. Let's make attack appear, plug that in. And I'll just make max health. Okay. Let's do that. This one is going to have two because we have two things. So we want to duplicate and we want to unpin these two max mana max mana mana regen changes to intelligence i'm actually going to move this around so i'm going to do I guess it doesn't matter actually. We'll we'll leave it as is. Duplicate. Plug that in. Plug that in. Plug that in. Okay. 
So from here, we should have updated stats every time. So let me also do one thing, which is update or custom update all stats. Update STR. Agility. And oh god. Mm, custom update int. Okay. So upon gaining a level. We want to call update all stats and also gaining a level. What I want to do is a stat check. I want to set my current health to my max health. So we'll set health or I keep thinking I'll get a function off that set. Um, that value. I get a brain fart with all these functions. Um, change this to health. Okay. Okay, we got all that. Gonna organize these a little. Move that over. That's fine. I'll, I'll clean that up and comment after. If it looks a little neater before, that's just because I'm going to start adding comments. So like that, uh, you can press C for comment if you don't know already. But I'm going to try to reorganize this to make it a little cleaner. Um, I won't change any of the nodes, though. Um, I try not to do that while working on stuff. OK, let's go back to debugging. Let's see how we look. Now, this is where we're going to take the debug key to. And we're going to kind of copy this. Ooh, in on begin play, we should have our defaults on begin, begin, er, begin play, event begin play, update all stats. And that's just so that, oh, you know what? I shouldn't. Mm, no. We're going to copy and paste this. I'm trying to make a way easier to do setting max, setting health to max health. I may just make one function just for that if I ever want to. And maybe the same thing for mana, because now realizing I should fill up the mana as well. Max mana. Anna. Control D <laughs> all the way over here. I'm going to make a function for this. Right click, collapse the function. We're going to just name this full heal. And under full heal, we'll just have this basic. It just stat checks both and fixes both. And that way, I don't have to keep doing that. Update all stats, full heal. Go back to begin play. Full heal. And now if um, you ever want to give your character a full heal, you could just use this function. And you can do that. So from here. We'll do, I'm going to copy all of this because I'm going to print a lot. So we're going to drag this off. P check, not P check, S, S check. Two, three, four. Um, health. Attack, 
mana, mana regen. I'm gonna plug all of that in. And let's start plugging. You may not see it completely right now um, because I'm zoomed out, but nonetheless, I'm not making my debug uh, clean. Uh, health, attack mana. Mana regen. Okay. So right now, now that I'm thinking about it, the only time we are updating our stats is when we gain a level. But what happens if we add stats manually? Uh, we need to go into our, our other functions, the add, subtract, and set. So we're going to have to break this out a lot more. So let's do this off of strength. Update str, break that, plug that in. Um, let's move this down, update agility. Let's just do that, plug that in, plug that in. And then intelligence, update int. Okay, I'm gonna copy this. All I'm doing is that once we ever add a primary stat, we're just automatically going to adjust our secondary stats. So let's go into subtract. We're gonna do the exact same thing. Uh, let me move this down because I know once I paste, I'm not gonna have enough space. So paste, plug in all the necessary arrangements. And then we'll do this. Okay. Um, now we just got the last one. Let's do the same thing. And plug them all in. Okay. All right, now it's time to print and let's see if it works. So when we go in here, if I hit two, these are our current stats, 250, 10, 125, and two. And then if I pause, I don't even think that's our, yeah. So you can tell the update stats worked because our default values are not matching what's printed, which means it is scaling now. That's fantastic. And then we also, let's go back in. We want to now gain a level. So we press one to gain a level. And then, yep, our stats are changing. So now I'm at 400 health. I gain another level. Now I'm at 550. My attack is 18. And we are scaling. Awesome. So with that, now we have scaling stats. So uh, debug is absolutely disgusting to look at, but we were able to make sure our agility, our intelligence strength all scale. We still maintained our level up system. We have a ton more functions that are now appearing um, in our custom events. Um, I'm gonna add some comments just to clean this up a bit. I really recommend to do the same. I don't want to add this another like 20 minutes to this video, <laughs> but um, ooh, what is this? Oh, we could delete that. That's not necessary anymore. Oh, it's not actually letting me delete it. Oh, what? Oh, some bug happened. I'm pressing delete. Nothing's happened. Anyways, um, that just means I have to save and restart my Unreal. Um, okay. Well, with that, we now have a fully... Oh, now it's gone. All right. Weird stuff. 
We have a fully functioning stat system with some primary stats, some secondary stats. We have a scaling multiplier. Um, I am gonna do a video, whether it is the next one or the one after, where we're gonna do multiple players. Um, and what that would just entitle to is that um, with our level up, uh, if we go into level stats, we may have to do a second data table uh, is what I'm thinking right now is because we want to have a list of the characters we have. And then we also want to list like how much stats they're going to gain. Cause obviously you don't want everybody to gain four intelligence, unless your goal is every time you get in level, you just get five stats. Then you could go that route. Absolutely. And then you don't have to make a second, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. Cause if we want a intelligence based character, we want them to primarily get intelligence upon gaining level. Uh, you can give them just attributes to to distribute themselves, that's fully possible too. Uh, you can also do both um, if you want. So that is our stat system. Thank you so much for all the time. I know this one was a lot longer because there was a lot of things we needed to do, but I wanted to make sure I covered it. So if you enjoyed this, feel free to like, subscribe, all the self promo stuff. Um, and yeah, uh, appreciate you guys listening in.